Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And it's a small box, but we're gonna get into it and review it. Today it's gonna be for the Bluetooth LED music light. And you're probably going, what in the world is a music light? Well, that's what we're gonna be showing you today. Again, this is an LED light that goes right into your bulb socket and it is a music light. So we're gonna show you everything, we're gonna test it out, we're gonna see how it sounds, see how it looks, etc. Real quickly, I'm gonna run over a couple specifications real quickly for you so you understand what I'm talking about. Number one, on the energy consumption chart, it is equal for an A in energy, so that's very good. And the input voltage, guys, is 100 through 240 volts, 50 through 60 hertz. Input power is 15 watts, supply power 85%, LED power 10 watts, luminous flux is 350, RA is 80, color temperature is 2700 through 6500K, luminous depreciation is 3%, viewing angle 140 degree, dimming PWM, and the audio power is 5 watts, frequency response 40 hertz through 18K hertz, Distortion 1%, SNR 80 dB, voice controlled, app controlled, Bluetooth transmission distance 10 meters, 30, 33 feet, operating environment parameters, negative 20 through 60, storage environment, negative 40 through 70. Very cool, guys. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and let's see how she sounds. Right here on the side, it says 30,000 hours, which is fantastic, and E27 bulb, and 350 LM, and CRI80, which might be something else that I read on there, but pictures on the side of the box there. All right, let's go ahead and open it on up, and right on the top, guys, we have a little remote control that's fantastic there. And so let's go ahead and just set that out of the way real quick. We need to be a little careful because it is glass, and let's go ahead and remove our bulb here and we have an empty box down there let's get that out of the way real quickly here take a look at that guys that's a solid bulb right there again your normal light bulb socket down there at the bottom your opening right here for your speakers and then your light on the top a very solid nice product there guys so again we will be testing this out and figuring out all the different features etc here Let's take a look real quickly at our instruction manual. It looks like it's in Chinese and English. One size Chinese, one's English. And on the first page of the manual, there is a QR code reader for the Google Play Store. I'm gonna be trying this also on the iPhone. So we'll see if it pairs up to iPhone. It looks like it does. Version Android 4.3 and iOS 7.0 or higher iOS. So it looks like it does pair up to both Android and iOS Apple iPhone. So in that case, I will be pairing it up to my iPhone 6. But again, in the Google Play Store. And we have our cool little remote control here, guys. Which it does come with a battery inside. So you just pull this little plastic piece on the end right here and that is able to allow the connection of the battery to the remote control. Now the remote control is fully functioning there. But let's go ahead and download this app real quickly here. And it looks like both in Google Play Store and the App Store, you're looking at the name iLight. Again, iLight. So let's go ahead and look that up, download that, be right back with it. Alrighty, here we go right here, guys. It's a free app. Unfortunately, it doesn't have too good of ratings, but we will go ahead and take a look here. So we're just downloading that now. All right, guys, well, that's downloading. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bulb up close here. So we have a nice speakers right through here. It might be one speaker, but that is our speaker kind of vents there with our bulb right there. Very solid design coming down here to our screw port here. So just your typical bulb. So let's go ahead and put that in the socket and we'll fire up the app and take a look and see what she does. All right guys, I got the bulb plugged in up above my kitchen and these are recessed lighting. Now it's kind of hard to tell on camera here, but the top one you're looking at is the warmer one. As you can see on the back wall, look towards the back wall and you can actually see the different shades over here on the wall and then over here. So the music bulb actually is more of that kind of uh, now, I wouldn't say a blue tint, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, these are kind of the warmer ones. And then this almost looks like kind of a more, eh, just a different color type of a uh, bulb. Fluorescent, maybe they call it. I'm not exactly sure. But it will cast 
not the warm glow, it will cast that, that light like this. All right, I have downloaded my app here, and this is what it looks like right here. And again, that is iLight in the Droid or iOS Apple Store. So let's go ahead and push on that. And it says, would like to send you notifications. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. I don't like to have too many notifications, so I'm gonna go ahead and say no to that. But again, you can change that in your settings, etc. Let's go ahead and look through this real quick. Music, lighting, surprise, give you happiness, etc. Enter. All right, and connection prompt, open the application, activate the light, etc. All right, guys, once you are connected Bluetooth, just make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now let's go ahead and show you some really cool features here. So right here, we have the on and off switch right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hold it with this phone so it doesn't get on the way here. And again, I'm just gonna tap that, the light goes off. I'm gonna tap that, light goes on. And you can actually dim it right here, take this, drag it down, and then it will go off. And again, it depends, I guess, upon if your system is, see that it went on there, and right there, nice and bright, etc. Now this here, you push that middle button right there, and then it changes to the different colorings, and then there's a small little circle on this wheel, and you would just tap that, and you would just go around the different colors, see how the bulb is now changing. We have like an orange, a red, right there as we come down to a blue, and then let's say you wanna get out of those colors and you just hit that middle button there and it will change back to the normal color. And then you have your main colors here, your red there, your green, your blue, your yellow right there. And then that's really nice. Now we have the normal, we have the rainbow, we have a pulse. And so I guess it would pulse back and forth between the different colors. We have flashing. And so here it's kind of flashing there for like a little party light. So I have four, you can only see three on camera, but I have four recessed lightings above my kitchen. Now you could have this for a party setting, you know, flash that around, let's get that blue going, you know, little party lights, huh? Very, very cool guys. Red, a little red going there. Let's switch back over to yellow. And again, you could drop that down, like let's say purple. See, now it's all on purple right there, so you can use your color wheel. And let's say you're over the flashing, you just go back to normal, and then you hit that button, boom. You're back to regular lighting right there, guys. Very nice. Here we have a candle, so I'm not really sure what that does. Oh, that kind of like flickers. Watch it just slightly flicker, kind of hard to pick up on camera, but it's slightly flickering like a candle. And I guess you could put that on yellow or like kind of a red and it would kind of flicker a real cool like. And that is it for that menu there. And then here on this, we have like timing light, no timing lights. We have this little sidebar menu right here. You have sleep assistant. So please select a sleep time, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes or 90 minutes. And I guess the light would go off if you wanted like a nice blue ambient light. That's kind of cool. And then also about just kind of gives you, this is version 1.32. And now let's go ahead and check out this music one down here. So it looks like we have some songs already stored on here from my iPod. That's awesome, guys. Take a look at that. So whatever's on your iPod, you have directly access to it. It's my music right here. Those are kind of my learning Portuguese lessons. But we have some U2 right here. And then share the current setting random color. So you would actually shake it. Let's try this shaking feature to shake it. And you would actually change the color of the light. So we can see some really cool uh, sound there. So now we're on purple. And let's see, that switched over to kind of more of a lighter color. Back to purple, back to green, purple, green, Kind of a blue now, so it's kind of cool. All right guys, for music, we do need to connect it through Bluetooth. So we do need to go to our Bluetooth settings menu. And what we need to do is we need to connect to the bulb. So with the app, you can change the colors without connecting via Bluetooth. But what we need to do is we need to actually connect it right here, iLight, which is down in our Bluetooth menu. So after you connect the iLight to your Droid or iOS device, it says connected here. So now let's go back to our app and we can go ahead and play music straight through the app or let's try this song here. Very nice, so we can play all our music through the app. This is the music I have on my iPod. 
So I'm literally playing music over that light bulb right now. That's a U2 song. And then we could pause it right there, guys. How cool is that? Very, very nice. We don't want to play too much music there, especially a U2 song. But let's try to stream now over Pandora music. And let's listen up to some Market Schultz uh, techno music here. Very nice, guys. Look at that. We got a little mood lighting going. Take a look at that, huh? Wow, guys, that actually sounds really, really good for a light bulb speaker. I'm very, very impressed. And the app is actually fantastic. I'm not sure why so many people gave it uh, some bad reviews, but I actually think the app is really cool. You can play your songs, you can change your lights all by your iPhone or Droid phone, like a remote control. I think that is absolutely fantastic. Now guys, if you don't want to use your smartphone, again, there is the remote control. Okay guys, so it looks like the remote control needs to be a little bit closer than I anticipated. It might be because of of the recessed lighting right here. But here I am, I'm about maybe 10 feet away from that light right here where the camera is. And you kind of have to get it right up in there. And I have to kind of get in there a little bit closer in order for it to work here. So I'll show you guys real quickly here. So here I am now, I'm like pretty much directly underneath it. Well, not really right underneath it here, but I'll go ahead and hit play here. And there it goes right there. I'll push pause. So it works, you just kind of have to have a kind of a direct access to it, especially if it's in recessed lighting like that. So that's something to go ahead and note. But again, I can uh, turn it off, I can turn it on, I can change the different colors. There we have red, green, blue, aqua, purple, yellow. Again, uh, fast forward, skip track, Volume up, volume down, you can even mute it from here. Pulse rainbow music rhythm here um, with the mood, mood lighting there. And uh, so that's a cool little remote control if you don't want to use your smartphone. But I think the smartphone via Bluetooth connection not needing the remote frequency, this is going off Bluetooth connection so there's a little bit better access to the light. So guys, overall a cool LED music light. I really think it's a really cool product and something I was just thinking about also is you could do some really cool pranks with this LED light. Because it is music, you could actually be in another room and you could have another app that does Bluetooth voice changing or even like a fart machine and you could totally prank someone in your house. The only thing I do wish though is, I'm gonna look back into it, but again, the coloring is not the same in the kitchen. There is a slight difference with the, again, warm lighting to more of a fluorescent, kind of that other color. So that is my only issue with the light besides that. That is just something to keep in mind before purchasing is that you want to make sure that the light colors blend evenly before picking that up. So again, look in the description box below the video where you can pick up this exact same music bulb. And again, really, really cool. The app is free, comes with a remote control, which is awesome. And also guys, something to keep in mind, if you have a lot of Bluetooth devices around your house, like an iWatch or whatever, you might try to reconnect to whatever Bluetooth compatible device. You probably have to go back in your menu. It won't automatically connect. I have a lot of Bluetooth devices around the house, so sometimes it wants to connect to the watch before it would connect to a speaker, etc. So before you attempt to play music, you might have to go into your settings, reconnect to that Bluetooth device, take it off of an iWatch, etc and reconnect to the Bluetooth music light. I did experience that one time already, trying to connect to the watch instead of the light bulb. So thank you guys so much for watching the review. Subscribe and stay tuned. I got a lot more products being sent to me, a lot more reviews in the books. So look in that description box below and also subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care until the next review. My name's Chris, bye-bye. <music>